if you want to start selling online in 2022, and of course, you're going to have tons of questions and there are tons of videos on the internet as well. But if you don't know where to get started and a lot of people are telling you, no, don't get started because selling on eBay, Amazon is dead. There are tons of questions that we have in our mind. So I would say in this live stream today, in this video, I will go through all of those questions. And by the end of it, I think I will be able to make everything clear for you. My name is Zencha. On this channel, I talk about how to make money online from eBay, Amazon, Shopify. So if you are first time here, consider subscribing, hit that like button. That will be a massive help. All the things that I'm going to talk about, obviously, the timestamp will be available for the replay audience as well. But I'm just going to go through once so you will know what we are talking about here today as well. So a lot of people ask me, first of all, is it too late? Start selling online. I will go through that one. I will go through which country should you choose because there is United States, there is Germany, there is UK, Australia. There are a lot of countries and consumer in each and every countries are really, really active as well. So we will talk about that. Then I will talk about what marketplace should you sell on. A lot of people talk about Facebook marketplace, e selling on eBay, selling on Amazon in 2022. There is a Shopify, there is Etsy, there's a Depop, there's a lot of choices. Well. So uh, when I go on this topic, you will have a clear idea where you can get started at the same time as well. Once we start a business, what kind of business model should you have? Shall you start with a retail arbitrage? Shall we start with a drop shipping? Shall you buy the stuff from, from China, from Alibaba in bulk? And you start uh, with that particular business model. What's our pros and cons? How much money you're going to need? I will talk about that at the same time. What kind of business registration are you going to need? So you need to be a limited company or you can be a sole trader or you can just open up an account today with a, without any registration. That's what I will talk about. Shall you be a private seller or business seller? What are pros and cons? That I will talk about today. And then at the very beginning level, I will show you a little bit about the product research. If you have no idea what to sell and where you can get started as well, by the end, I will give you a little bit of example. Like it will be massively helpful for you at the end of day. So first of all, let's talk about is it too late to start selling online? And the short answer is no. And, and the reason for that is I opened an account on eBay, even though I've been selling on eBay from past 10 years. I started in 2012. It's been 10 years now. I opened an account about a six month ago and the profit margins on those, those accounts after all the expenses are somewhere between thousand pound a month. So that really proves I'm not just going to sit here and I'm going to talk about no, 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 no. It's not too late. You can get started, all that kind of stuff as well. You can see right here. I actually open up that account. Uh, right here. So the past 90 day sale was 6,481, which really proves the point. Like, first of all, look, it is not too late to start selling online. If you really know what you are doing, to be honest with you, you can make a decent money and making 800 pound and thousand pound profit after six months. It's absolutely fantastic. Probably a lot of people, they are not doing in, in the events once they're just going to get started. They are not doing this for a full time. So they have a have a job at the side. Even making 300, 400 pound, 500 pound in the beginning, it's really a, a great income on the top of the, the income which you already have from your full time. So is it too late? Only people going to talk about is it too late? The people who don't want to sell, they are looking for the excuse to just get away from it as well. Those people are lazy. Don't listen to them, to be honest with you. So the people who just kind of spread this rumor, it is too late, it's dead, all that kind of stuff. I would say it's all BS. Don't listen to them. You can start today if you have a skills, if you don't, if you know what you are doing, 2022 is the best year because the market is growing. Online shopping is expanding day by day as well. I don't need to prove a point because I already shown you an account which I recently started. I think there is nothing left to talk about on this topic. I can talk for hours and hours as well. People will still have a confusion. People will still have the questions as well. But, you know, I'm living example. Even though I've been selling from 10 years, I recently started an account and it, it's giving me a great income at the same time as well. 
secondly a lot of people talk about which country should you sell like there is a united states sell you go for the international shipping there's australia there is in uk as well and my answer to those people always will be sell in your local country first if the ebay and amazon is not available in your country over 80 percent of my audience watch me from uk so i will say just only start selling in uk there are enough customers in uk selling internationally there is a lot of headache you don't need that in the beginnings in when once you're just starting out obviously you want to expand your business you want to take it beyond the borders as well that will be another stage once you are just starting out sell in a country which is local to you if that is uk if that is us if that is australia wherever you are sell at that particular country even though us is a bigger market doesn't matter if you can even get like one percent of customers who are in uk that will make you a really substantial decent money even if you start in your local country as well again if it's not available then i will say go for the uk market if it's available in your country selling on ebay amazon stick to that one your life is going to be a lot easier okay so the next one is what marketplace should you sell on is it facebook marketplace at c ebay amazon shopify whatever a lot of people will talk about that and i wanna like first of all i wanna kind of clear a confusion here because a lot of people talk about it's again negativity in those people who don't want to sell online they will talk about oh ebay can ban your account amazon can ban your account you don't have a freedom whatsoever and that's absolutely true i'm not saying it's not true but i can that might not be a good example i can leave a house now probably go to buy something from asda and i might have a car accident on the way god forbid that but uh, what i'm trying to say these type of things but that doesn't mean i shouldn't go and buy the milk from asda i shouldn't go and i, I should be sitting in a house at, at the end of the day as well there's a risk in each and everything and the reason i will talk about don't start from shopify that's what i want to make it clear because a lot of people talk about shopify at the moment shopify is is a is a is a platform which have a tools to design your own e-commerce website it's not a marketplace once you design your own website you need to bring a customers over to your website as well and where are you going to get those customer probably you're going to run facebook ads probably you're going to run google ads a lot of people have no idea how to run the facebook ad a lot of people have no idea how to run a google ad as well you need a lot bigger investment more than you think to actually have a successful shopify store as compared to on other end the reason i recommend you to start selling on either ebay or amazon because ebay and amazon have a customers already who comes to their platform and they look for the product they look for the product in the search engine that's why you pay them a fee because they already have a customer coming on to their website that's the reason i do not recommend starting from shopify at the beginning level i'm talking about at the beginning level it's not like you should never sell on shopify that's not what i'm trying to say you should at some level which i'm not going to cover in this video but first you should start selling on ebay if you ask me to be honest with you ebay is a platform which is easier to understand there are less restrictions as well and there are there, there is not a lot to deal with then you expand your business to amazon and then you think about having your own brand build your shopify store and try to convert the customer from ebay and amazon or at, at, by that time you will have a good sense of running online business so you will be able to run a google ad or facebook ad or bing all that kind of stuff as well but do not start from a shopify so the answer is start from a face uh, start from uh, ebay and then expand your business to amazon and then take it from there as well a lot of people talk about selling on a facebook in my opinion and this is my own opinion as well facebook is not a marketplace facebook is just like a gum tree for the people who are uk who will understand as well people do not come to facebook to buy the new products people are looking for something probably a furniture from the local area or something which they might find it local as well 
Facebook at this moment of time when I'm speaking today does not have a dedicated payment system as well. And the bigger problem, the people feel comfortable buying from eBay and Amazon because they know if something will go wrong, they're going to get their money back. That's not the case for Facebook Marketplace. So that's the reason I do not recommend from a Facebook Marketplace as well. Start from eBay, then expand your business to Amazon and then take it from Shopify as well. The next topic is going to be really, really interesting and going to answer a question which I just got in the live stream at the same time. What business model should you have? Shall you start from drop shipping? Shall you start from retail arbitrage? Shall you start from a wholesale? Shall which business model you will have at the end of day? To be honest with you, I'm gonna be like a completely, completely transparent and honest on each and everything as well. Retail arbitrage and drop shipping, I'm gonna put them in a in, in the same category. You are able to make somewhat good money. It really gonna depend on what is your definition of good money? I showed you the result after running a store from a six month, I was able to make somewhere between 800,000 pounds, sometime over that as well, under 1500 pounds. And I am spending, spending time on that particular store as well. And it will come to a point where you won't be able to scale it. There are tons of headaches in a, in a retail arbitrage. There are tons of headache in a drop shipping. You have to, if you are, let's say, for example, as uh, doing Amazon to eBay drop shipping, the customer will see the packing. Not all the customer will buy that when, once you're going to message them. OK, um, because I use uh, Amazon for eBay fulfillment, that's why you will see Amazon packing. If you are doing a retail arbitrage, something you see on Argos, if Argos will use their packing and the customer will find the invoice at the end of day, it's they, they are going to be the problem. I, I, I mean, simple as that. Retail arbitrage and drop shipping is not a flawless business model. There are always going to be tons of problem. The reason you can still make a money and the people who want to do that, I can tell them you're going to face ton of problem. But at the same time, the chances are you're going to make a good money. And on the top of that, you're going to learn how to sell online because even drop shipping and even retail arbitrage nowadays, it's not a copy and paste job. You can't just simply take all the products from AliExpress or all the product from CJ drop shipping or all the product from Amazon and then list them on eBay and put like five pound or 10 pound on the top and products just going to start magically selling. It's not going to happen. And the reason it's not going to happen because there is a, a good amount of product research goes into retail arbitrage and a drop shipping as well. So because you are learning a skill at, at the level where you are not spending any money, because with the retail arbitrage, with the, with the drop shipping, you don't need any upfront investment as compared to buying something from Alibaba or as compared to buying in a bulk and then selling on eBay and Amazon as well. So. What I'm trying to say is you can absolutely start with the with the retail arbitrage. You can start with the drop shipping. You will be able to make somewhat decent money. Again, I said it depends on your definition of decent money as well. But the way I think about it, to be honest with you, if I didn't had an investment and we have to sit back and we have to be realistically honest with ourselves, if I'm completely broke, and I, I can't do it, like literally I can't do it. And if you are saying you are broke and you are using iPhone, I don't know, 12 Pro like me, you are not broke. You have a money with you. You just don't want to spend that money. So if you are one of those person who are, you don't want to spend the money, you don't want to take a risk, you want to buy something in a bulk and sell on eBay and Amazon, then by all means, go with the drop shipping, go with the, with the retail arbitrage. By all means, you can do that. There is nothing wrong with this business model, but it have the flaws and it have what I call it. You can't scale this business beyond some level where go to my Facebook. Uh, sorry, I said Facebook, go to my YouTube community tab. So when you open my channel, you open the YouTube and then you go to the community tab. You will, you will be able to see in December. I paid nearly 2000 pounds just in the terms of eBay fee, just in the terms of eBay fee, eBay charged 10% fee 
on most of the product that you sell on eBay, which means my sale was nearly twenty thousand pound in 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 the month of December, which given me around five to six thousand pound profit just from eBay at this just from one store in the month of December. So if you are looking at you, if you have a dream and if you want to make about ten to fifteen thousand pound. Retail arbitrage and drop shipping is not the business model you're gonna scale. The people who talk about it that you're gonna make two hundred, three hundred pound a day, they just wanna sell their courses. To be honest with you, it's coming from me. You take it, you don't take it. That's your choice at the end of the day. But I'm trying to be honest, and I have a ten years of experience in this category. I shown you the account. You can go on a community tab, check how much fee I pay. I I actually taken a screenshot my bank account and I put it right there as well, trying to be completely transparent right here as well. So that's what it is. I will go through. Obviously, if you wanna go with the drop shipping, you wanna go to the retail arbitrage, you wanna go to the wholesale. How you get started into the next question by my. by summarizing it by the short answer if you have an investment you have a courage to take a risk and the risk is always going to be in any type of business model so if you buy something from bulk in china i'm so much confident at this level if you buy something from china if it's not sell on ebay and amazon you gonna find a person who will be willing to buy those products from you so at least you can recover your money that you actually have spended in 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 the product that you was buying from china as well you have to be active in this type of thing if you are buying direct from a factory in china you selling on ebay you selling on amazon of course you need a investment of course there is going to be a headache but at the end of day you're going to make more profit and the work how much work you're going to put in again i said drop shipping and retail arbitrage you have to do some what some what some what product research as well Uh, my argument is if you can spend the same time and then spend little bit of money go with the wholesale business model you will be able to scale it you will be able to make good money that's what I, 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 i'm i'm trying to talk about right here as well okay so what biz- business registration do i need once we are just you know starting the business what business registration do i need i'm going to keep it short as well i have a full detailed dedicated video all that kind of stuff on the youtube available hit the like button let's get started with this one so once you're starting a business either you can become a sole trader or you can register a limited company become a sole trader is just simple as calling hmrc telling them i want to sell online on ebay and amazon they will give you a number which call utr number unique tax reference number you are ready to go once it it will come the time when you have to do your tax return HMRC will send you a letter you just have to tell them how much profit you made how much loss you made all that kind of stuff i i have a full dedicated video other option is opening a limited company opening a limited company cost about 15 something stuff like that you can go on H- uh, HMRC website you can register a limited company only these things you need to start a business with the with the with with eBay and Amazon I will talk more detail on that. I, we have a, a a session with our accountant coming up live, who will be able to tell you which is the better option: limited company, sole trader. What are your tax responsibility, VAT, all that kind of stuff as well. That session is going to be live with our accountant. It's gonna be first week of February, and I have tons of video explaining that on my channel. I seen this question coming up a lot. A lot of people ask me, shall I start as a private account or a business account? On Amazon, you have a professional account or you have a, the other account with the with both of them. I would say with, between a private account and a business account. If you according to eBay and Amazon, if you are a person who just like to sell sometimes, like you have a, okay, I have a mobile, I no longer use it, I'm going to sell it on eBay. I don't need it like uh, after a month or after two months he have another products that you don't need and you want to sell it on eBay and Amazon for that type of seller you going to be a private seller that's okay you don't need to like declare anything you didn't buy this mobile to make some money off it the mobile was your you don't need it you want to sell it on eBay and Amazon for that type of thing you going to need a private account 
for the business account if you are buying something regardless is used regardless it's brand new regardless is one regardless is 100 doesn't matter if your attention is to make profit out of it you're not keeping it for yourself you need a business account that's the basic difference okay so now people talk about shall i start from a private account and then i can you know go with a business account you can do that and i will talk in in uh, in the next question like what do i mean by that but what I, I, i'm trying to say once you're going to open a private account you're going to have a, a very less selling limit once you're new to ebay or once you're new to amazon your account is going to be restricted that you might be able to only list 10 item or you might be only able to list the item worth under thousand pound you're going to have that restriction on a private account with the business account there is going to be a restriction but it's not going to be 10 item it's going to be a thousand item i'm not sure on the top of my head but on a private account the restriction is either 10 item a month or 100 item a month i think it's 10 item a month but with a business account straight away you're going to get thousand item to sell it's good you are starting the business take it seriously that's it's going to help you a lot right there as well the third the last one is going to be really interesting and i'm going to give you a couple of examples right here as well you have a clear idea what to do you have to hear me out this answer is going to be longer because i think this is the most important to important topic and on the basic level i will be able to give you a clear picture what you have to do right here as well a lot of people come and first they talk about okay i don't know what to sell i have no idea like give me some kind of suggestions as well so first of all keep in mind that uh, i will show you all the process on the screen at the same time but there are a couple of things that i want to clear as well and it is important to hear all uh, all of the things out at the same time so first of all if i am able to sell one product which i sell mobile phone and accessories most of i would say 90% of the guys who watch my videos they know that i sell mobile phone and accessories that doesn't mean if you're going to start selling mobile phone accessories you're going to make tons of money as well so first of all if you have no idea what to sell first sit back and think about what do you know what do you know like i don't sell shoes i don't sell pokemon cards because there is a good profit people make tons of money i watch tons of video on youtube here and there tiktok a lot of them where people are making a lot of money selling this selling that but i have no idea about it uh the reason i sell mobile phone and accessories like i had a mobile phone shop before i started selling online so i know the prices i know the supplier i know this niche i know if i'm going to sell this particular product i know why the customer buy it i know what is the usb type c cable what is lightning what is blah 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 all that kind of stuff as well so first of all think about what do you know if you don't know anything that's absolutely fine as well because there are the ways to actually you can find out what are the successful product so once you are just starting out in in the beginning stage you are just just like absolutely from zero you are starting out you can as i said you can go with the drop shipping business model with the drop shipping business model again i said there're going to be tons of headache there is no like there is no like you're going to have couple of problems no no uh like i'm not going to sit here and pretend it's going to be all smooth you're going to make tons of money because i don't have a course to sell it to you at the end of day because you know i don't have a course so the first of all with the with the retail arbitrage with the retail arbitrage but i recommend what where the people are actually just starting out is go to uh again i said it's not going to be 100% smooth so don't just expect like it's going to be you know game changing and you're going to make tons of money out of it 800000 pound 1500 probably 2000 pound that might be the only money you only going to need so with the retail uh, with the retail arbitrage let's talk about the retail arbitrage first so with the retail arbitrage if my internet will you know that's one of the things once you are doing something live there's a tool called profitel with the profitel what the profitel does i have a detailed video about it as well so the first thing inside you have something called a uh, uh, deal finder inside the deal finder what the profitel does this scan all the product 
which are being sold on a different different website so for example uh this peanut button right here it is on this website and then if i open the amazon one this is right here as well i'm gonna open a couple of them just to give you one example uh with this is with the retail arbitrage as well with the retail arbitrage the other thing you can do is like you can go directly on argos or you can go to the poundland i will i will do detailed videos on that at, at the same time but you can look at their clearance section with the clearance section there's gonna be a lot of items which are gonna be cheaper uh there as well uh so that's one way the other way is with the profit hill where they show you all the products so this one is some kind of uh, peanut butter something like that on this website right here is being sold for five pound and 66 pence but on amazon this one these are 15 of them i'm not really sure if these are 15 of them as well anyway let's go to the next one so this one right here on argos you have this ninja food processor i think it is something like that right here this is being sold for 229 pound on argos at, at this moment of time the same one right here it is being sold for 100 with with the okay so this with the six options right here let me see if it's the if it so dual zone a4 something like this and if i go to go to the buying options right here so brand new one is 359 pound that's the one right here as well the one on the top 170 pound it's the used one so this one is 359 pound the same food process right here is going for 229 pound right there as well Another one, you can see this uh, 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 tea bags right here on a Morrison, five pound and 30 pence. On the same tea bags right here, they are going for 20 pound. This is the pack of four, I think. That's that's a different one. So what? Uh, so inside a profit deal, this is the one right here. This is only showing a 10 item on this one. So it have 200, uh, if you can see right here on the screen, little bit beyond uh this one right here let me pull this up if i can drag this up right here so this have 206 pages in each and every page there is 10 items so which means you're gonna find over 2000 products and then it, it these are the products which you will find on your local retail store and then those products are being sold at expensive price on the amazon the link for that is inside the description again i said so you're gonna have tons of hiccup if the product it, it is on argos then you have to go to argos because argos will include the packing they're gonna include the invoice inside so there are some suppliers which don't include the invoices as well but again i said with the retail arbitrage always been clear it's the things where it's not gonna be hassle free at the end of the day but you have to think one thing in mind and when i talk about it please don't mind i'm not trying to pick anybody i'm not trying to you know demean anybody or something like that if you are starting with the retail arbitrage let's talk with the retail arbitrage as well the first thing you have to think about i'm not investing any money i'm not buying something from china so even if the product will sell and if i make a profit and i have to go to argos or i have to go to the poundland come back back and ship the product if i make a decent profit i'm all right with it because i'm not spending any money so the people who are going to talk about okay i have to go there i have to pick up the product then my friend i mean just sleep then uh, making money isn't for you at the end of the day like you have to put some kind of work in order for you to you have to either give your time and efforts or you either have to come up with the investment that's the way it work because we live in a world where it's all about it's 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 exchange of value so how much value i provide it to you then how much value you provide it to me at the end of the day as well so that's the way it it's an exchange of value at the end of the day you want to make money you have to give your time or you have to give your efforts at the end of the day somewhere if the products are from a poundland if the product is being sold really at, at the decent price and the velocity of the product is really great I don't mind going to the Poundland and picking up some product and then selling on eBay and Amazon because Poundland doesn't do delivery. You know what I mean? So you have to think about, okay, even if I have to go there, how much money I'm investing in this business? 
if you can't you can't go to the pound and if your excuse is that i don't want to go there i don't want to pack i don't want to do that then my friend buy the products from china isn't it then send it to amazon and they will take care of fulfillment like you i don't want to spend money but you don't want to make money you don't want to give a time to something but you want to make money at the end of the day you get the point i have no literally no respect and uh, literally no time for those people those people are literally wasting their life literally wasting their life i i want to cry when i see those kind of comments as well and same people will ex will accept the minimum wage job at mcdonald and pack 250 burgers for somebody else like that's I always give this example so that's with the with the retail uh, arbitrage as well with the drop shipping i would say what i'm going to do i'm going to link a video inside a description and i will show you a little bit of that as well so there is a tool which called lister with the lister what the lister does i i will show you a little bit i done a detailed video i think last video on channel it is about that right here as well so once you open a lister you will see a tab called product hunter you go to your gold asins but gold asins are lister have this service for you where you can actually buy the products from like so lister will do the product research for you you pay them so for example if i pay them 12 pound and 50 pence it will give me 250 uh product which i can use and those are product which is going to be hand picked by lister on amazon and then you can list those products on ebay how to list them using a lister all detailed tutorial i'm going to link the video inside the description and that's the last video on my channel which i will show you uh you know the people who are watching in the replay i will link them uh inside the description as well so that is this is about drop shipping the other one which i do not cover but i i do recommend as well i think if you go to a uh, saver channel if you watch my channel i mean just don't watch mine there are tons of other channel at the same time give you good information as well i'm a person i i do cover drop shipping because there are a lot of beginner who watch my channel but saver cover drop shipping in a detail he have a tutorial on a cj drop shipping so cj drop shipping i heard a good things about them as well you can look into cj drop shipping again you know my stand on a retail arbitrage and you know my stand on a on 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 the drop shipping as well so proceed with caution that's what i'm trying to say as well so my argument is always will be the time and money that you're going to spend with the retail arbitrage and the, the drop shipping you are better off learning how to do your product research come up with a good product which let's talk about the wholesale at this time because with the wholesale it's not the rocket science at the end of day to understand so a lot of people just talk about zen i have no idea where to start like literally no idea completely i'm lost in this game so first of all i will tell them before you buy any kind of tools uh i'm not going to sit here and tell you buy zeek analytics buy this buy that because unless you don't know how to use them unless you don't understand the basic fundamental of selling on ebay selling on amazon don't those tools are not like exactly going to tell you okay sell this product and then you're going to make tons of money and then you're going to pick up that product and then that product is going to start selling it's not going to happen like z analytics or for for amazon what he call a jungle scout or uh, for helium 10 they don't you pay the money and they tell you sell this product and then you buy that product from china and then bring it and then it's going to start selling it doesn't work like that there are some things that we have to keep in mind so if you don't know selling a tools it's it's not really uh, it, it subscribing to a tool is not really going to be the option for you first thing do go to amazon best sellers we are not picking anything from amazon we are just trying to get some ideas if you have no idea if you are absolutely a dummy <laughs> if you have no idea then i'm not saying you are dummy let's say that's the way i started as well let's say i was absolutely dummy and this is the way uh, i did as well so once you open that go to the google i i forgot to explain it to you is like google amazon best sellers okay 
Amazon have a complete list where Amazon will tell you these are the best selling items on Amazon at the moment. Pick the category where you are comfortable in, right? Pick the category where you will say, okay, this is the category where I feel that I have a little bit of information where I, again, I talked about if you want to sell online and you don't know where to start, first sit back and think what you want to do for, for the first one. Go talk about, uh, uh, so I will say computer and accessories because this is the category where I am comfortable in as well. The first one right here as well, it is uh, why it's showing the listing, which I, which is familiar with me anyway. Okay. So this is the cable, uh, iPhone cable. It is longer cable pack of three, which is two meter cable. Again, people want to buy a longer cable now because I am a mobile phone and accessory seller. I always talk about if you want to sell online and you sell a one meter cable, just like everybody else then of course there's going to be a tons of competition. People come to eBay and Amazon and the reason they want to need a longer cable because we all have a bad addiction using our mobile phone on a bed and the socket might not be closed and we buy a longer cable so we can waste our time and charge our mobile at the same time. That's what the way it, it, it's work as well. The second thing, the reason the third one is selling this one really, really well as, as well because new cables, like for example, with the iPhone one right here, they comes with the USB type C cable. So people need a converter. Anyway, I'm not going to go into detail, be a geek and give you lecture about it as well. I'm just trying to give you an idea. This is the two meter cable going for 755 on Amazon. So if you want to sell that, you got a little bit of idea. I want to, I can start with the cable and I can start one meter cable is not good. I can start with a two meter cable, which which will fast charge as well. This one dongle, this dongle right here, this one, it doesn't cost more than 10p buying from China. This one right here, like 10p is literally wholesale price for this dongle, the one right here as well. I think they are selling more than one, but manufacturing price, this one is about 10p. This is a very, very cheap item. It's really, really cheap item right here as well. I wouldn't get inspiration from a branded item because at the end of the day, they, those are brand. I'm not looking to sell brand and competes with brand at the end of the day. This cable right here, this is a, a, a broadband extender right here as well. And then these are the cables. I'm just trying to get an idea I'm, uh, because I, I have no idea what to sell at the end of the day. This is a keyboard mouse. This is a, again, Logit uh, Logitech keyboard mouse. I'm, I'm not competing with a brand at the end of the day. So what I'm trying to look here, there are a lot of cables which are being sold and those are best selling cables at the end of the day. So if I get into the cable and if I can sell cheaper than this one, that might be good for me that like that's the inspiration which i'm trying which i'm getting from this one like this page right here a lot of cables right here as well and then this one uh ethernet something like this keyboard and mouse something like that here and there as well cables 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 are the best sellers uh, right here at the end of day so if we wanna start with that one I mean, I didn't see any cable being sold for less than five pound. All of them are seven twenty seven. All all are over five, six, seven pound at the end of the day. So if I go, if I again, I said, look, I'm just giving you this example. What a lot of people gonna do is they gonna. I'm showing you the method. You might be interested in some different category. So first of all, stick to what you know. That's but to get the inspiration, click on a category on Amazon, come on to Amazon and then look what uh, what is being sold, what what people are selling, what people are buying at the end of the day. Then this is obviously a wholesale for wholesale. I'd recommend buying from obviously Alibaba and a lot of people talk about is buying from Alibaba safe. And I'm just going to keep this answer short because if there is a supplier who is selling on Alibaba, then they have to go through some sort of registration process. And the registration process, they have to give them their documents. They have to give them 
uh, their business administration, all that kind of stuff. So it's not like you're going to send a money to somebody and they're going to run away and you're never going to get your product. So that doesn't happen because the people who are selling on Alibaba, they are verified seller. So what I was looking right here as well, two meter iPhone charging cable. And another thing which I want, I want to show you right here as well, you get if you want to get inspiration for the product again this is a free tool as well we're not talking about paid tools yet and, and i'm the reason I, I didn't talk about it i said the paid tool will not give you any kind of idea if you don't know how to use them so that's the reason i'm not doing a paid tool at this level once you are just starting out as well this is called keyword the io and then you come here, select the store for, let's select eBay right here as well. English United Kingdom, that's my market. I will click on, I wanna sell iPhone cable. I'm just trying to find out what people are searching because if we give them exactly what they want, the chances of our product getting sold is going to be higher, right? Again, same thing, people come to eBay, they are looking for iPhone cable, which is two meter or three meter long right nobody or and some people looking for iphone cable which is black because iphone cable doesn't come in black like for me the setup which obviously i can't show you right here as well literally other than my macbook which i'm using that one is in silver i can't buy it in black other than everything is black right here as well so i would if i want to match everything i have an iphone then i will just buy a black cable which goes with my setup as well so here you can get some product inspiration as well what to sell at the end of the day so if i'm coming right here on to alibaba with the alibaba there are a couple of things you have to look out for right so this one right here uh let's just pick up pick this one just for the sake of uh, uh, when i'm trying to explain you something so this one you can see on the screen this says verified supplier you're gonna see that on each and every person this is like a verify verified supplier on each and every uh listing as well first look how long they are selling it for three years which is great because i also prefer to deal with the supplier no the first thing you have to look for what their name sound like so if it's like a western kind of sounding name then on the some people on alibaba they are are agents as well so they buy the products from a factory and then sell it to you as well some people they are factory so you can normally tell with the name so if the name is West, western kind of sounding i will run away 300 miles away this one shenzhen blah 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 that's okay with me right then they are being selling for over three years another that's great as well I will deal with the suppliers who are obviously selling for more than uh, more than three years. That's my obviously, uh, you know, the choice at the end of the day as well. So this cable right here, even if I go for like a maximum price, 20 pieces are minimum order at the end of the day. If I go for maximum price, I'm not going to go with the minimum. If I go for maximum price, that is $58, which let's call it even though obviously the the pound is bigger than a dollar let's call it a 60 dollar with the delivery with the landing each and everything that cable might cost you around 90p right if we're gonna start with let's say 500 of those just to give you one example if we wanna start just with 500 of those just as an idea if i start with 500 of those let's do it one pound at the end of the day that's gonna be 500 pound right with the 500 pound that's the wholesale you are starting how how much are you gonna sell those on 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 a ebay for how much are you gonna sell those on amazon for you seen the price at the end of the day as well you know so again i said doing with the wholesale doing with the, wholesale doesn't mean you have to spend thousand my first one where i started the wholesale uh before i mean i, I was I, I picked and sold a lot of products from poundland a lot of in the beginning I, but but the poundland was like i used to go pick up the products from there as well 
I was doing a job. I didn't had the money before I start the shop and all that kind of stuff as well. But I've been on the side. I've been always selling on eBay and Amazon. The first product which I remember, I went to AliExpress because even on AliExpress doesn't mean it's it's just like one item or two item you have to buy on AliExpress. If I see the price right for some particular item, let's say if I go here, just giving you one example, I'm I'm, I'm not really you know doing uh, picking a product. So let's say if I go to, I would say okay, this product's gonna sell good. Just you know giving one example at the end of the day, I will say okay, this product on AliExpress is three pound and sixty pence. This is what I did. There was a headphones which had like a zip in the middle. Those was like my first headphone which I which I sold. I bought about thirty of them. I think for thirty eight pound, and the concept was really really good. The headphone had a zip in the middle rather than now there are wireless headphones. Obviously they are good, but at that time this was a like a unique kind of concept as well. And on the top of my head, I, okay, 30 headphones, I, I'm buying for £38. And each headphone, I think I sold it for £9.99. That was like my, okay. And on the back of my head, I would say, okay, if these headphones won't sell, I will just go to the shops and, I, you know, I will just walk around in the market. A lot of people have a mobile shop. I'm just going to tell them, look, I bought them online. I can't sell them on eBay and Amazon. Uh, you know, you want to buy it because I, I just paid 60 pound for blah blah you know on the shops they're gonna sell for it and that was a unique product i was confident i'm not going to lose my money and 38 pound wasn't a big of investment but that gave me a lot of confidence okay i can do this so this is with the wholesale by no means this is like a complete kind of you know a guide or complete kind of where I say this is everything you need to know at the end of the day. I didn't touch the paid tool. I didn't touch. I'm not sitting here trying to sell you any course, isn't it? So at least hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. That wouldn't cost you anything. Take care.